Hey guys, it's Shelly here with lovecreatelab.blogspot.com. Um, I'm here tonight, I'm going to try to do a process kind of, not a process video, like I don't have the capability of editing and all that stuff because I use my iPad for um, my videos, but what I want to do is I really enjoy when people show me, you know, kind of what they, when they pick the products to use for a layout and then the finished product. So I'm going to try that. Um, well, we'll see. <laughs> so the picture that I'm working with is this one right here. It's a 5 by 7 photo of my parents. Um, both my parents passed away in 2003. Um, and in 2004 I did a lot of scrapbooking of memories of them and of their pictures. And I haven't done a whole lot of them since that time. Um, mostly just because I just started doing my kids and stuff. Um, so that's the picture. Um, my mom's in pink and my dad's in a, a blue suit. Um, so the papers that I pulled are going to kind of, and then there's a black, black background. So I'm going to go with black instead of brown for my accent. Usually I do a lot of browns. Um, so this is a little different for me. Um, so the, my base cardstock is just this white basil. Um, then I'm going to do, I pulled a lot of paper. Now I'm obviously not going to use it all, but I pulled this grid, uh, from, where is it from? What we got here? Pink Paisley, House of Three, map. So that one I pulled. Um, the next one is this blue, this dark blue pattern. Um, I'm sorry, also from Pink Paisley, House of Three, tabs. For those two. And I pulled this old Bow Bunny paper because I really like the soft blue um, off of the white. So I might use that. Sorry. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not very good at these process videos. Back to basics. This is from a couple years ago, actually. Um, archivist purchase. But um, I really like those colors. And I just kind of flip through a lot of my papers. Um, I have in my mind's eye lime twist blue. It's pinstripe looking. Which I'm pretty sure my, well, my dad's jacket wasn't necessarily pinstripe, but I thought I liked that dark blue. The next one is my Mind's Eye Ooh La La collection. And it's these big, bright pink polka dots, which is about the color of her shirt. So I pulled that, and the back side, I don't know. I don't know if I could pull that off for this layout, but either side, I suppose. Um, the next one is still from that Ooh La La collection, My Mind's Eye. It's this pretty pink pattern, and I'm pretty close to the paper, so it's not that big of a pattern, I guess. And the back side's a very subtle pink and um, kind of ivory pin, diagonal pinstripe. Also pretty, so I'm not sure which one I would go with, but... And I pulled this Modern Homemaker October Afternoon piece that I've had in my stash since last, and then the back side is pretty good. Um, I've had that since my Santa sacks in the fall. And that one. And the next one is just a basic black, see, black polka dot. It's from the October Afternoon. Thrift shop, and the last one. I pulled October afternoon. Farmhouse, this light blue, or this kind of almost a neat, I don't know, like a denim blue, grayish pinstripe. Um, this one is October afternoon's Fly a Kite, Strawberry Farm. It's just that kind of pink polka dot. Um, October afternoon, hometown Woolworths, um, herring, what is that called, houndstooth, I think, I don't know, yeah, and then this black star paper, which is October afternoon, five and dime, wax bottle, backside, um, and then this blue here is October afternoon report card recess. Um, and the pattern on it reminded me of this pattern on my dad's tie. 
So I might try to tie that in. Tie. Tie the paper in with my dad's tie. <laughs> Um, and some of the embellishments that I've pulled so far is, um, well, and I'm also, I also have pulled the entire, I just got the Crate Paper Random collection, so those papers are obviously going to be, they're out in the mix as well. I'm definitely going to use this little stamp, postage stamp thing. Um, I, I stamped a moment in time on there already. Um, it's a, one of the Pink by Design stamp sets that I bought last weekend that I did a haul on this week. That stamp sentiment was in one of those. Um, so I'm already planning on using that. Even though I said it was going to be blacks, but I just like that postage stamp and I like that um, sentiment as well. So I probably will use some of these as well, or uh, maybe one. I don't know. Um, and then I also have the random collection crepe paper border strips. I like this one. And I like this one. But I'm not sure if, which one I'm going to use, if any. So, but I pulled it. <clears throat> and then I'm thinking I might use this um, Happy Times as part of the title. Um, I might do... I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the title yet exactly, but, um, so the papers I was looking at for this one, um, is the shrub chevron, perhaps this pink, um, this blue, it's like a denim, but it kind of looks similar to his, the, um, texture of his jacket. His jacket was not denim, but, um, I might pull that and I might pull that. Because I've got a lot of blues already, but I don't have a ton of pink paper I have found, so, you know, I might pull some of that stuff. Um, and then there's the embellishments that I already showed you. So that's, oh, and the one last thing is I do have, um, this basic gray paper pack I've had for a while, and I mostly just have scraps, and then I have, like, these sticker letters. I have some of those in here, too, and then some of these borders and stickers that I might use as well, but. Um, this line I've had for a while and it is very well loved and used. So there's just, um, a ton of scraps in there that I might go through and take a look at. Okay, guys, those are what I'm starting off with. And then, of course, I'll probably pull some ribbons or, um, trims and washies and letters and whatever else after the fact. But that's what I'm starting with. Um, and that's my inspiration photo. It's a five by seven, which I'm not used to working with that. Um, and I'm also not used to doing whole page of, you know, single page layouts with one photo. So it's going to be a challenge for me. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out. Uh, thanks for watching guys.